Hey guys, HiCT here, and today I want to give a tip for all you players that play Tower Defense Simulator. Now, there's a lot of problems when people first start the game. They kind of save for a very expensive and most powerful tower that they have. Usually it's the mini gunner. And I want to address the situation where saving for a mini gunner early game is a bad idea. And the reason for saving something that early is bad is because you're not destroying zombies early game. So the first nine waves, those are the most crucial when you start to triumph any sort of wave. If you want to be very strong throughout your playthrough, it's best to destroy a lot of the zombies in the early game. And to do this, you would need a lot of riflemen like John or even Soldier, maybe even some sort of stalls like Syro or like Freezer or even a Pyro because those enemies need to be destroyed as quick as possible so you can get a wave bonus. Those wave bonus may be small, but they add up and you can have more towers. Most people don't realize that. They kind of just save and save and save and they don't realize they're not getting the wave bonuses. They're not killing enough of the zombies to do that. And now they're stuck because they almost have that amount. And like in the video, they don't kill the boss one. But when they don't have enough towers, we lose. We don't really have anything else. And people get upset, people rage quit. And I understand where people are coming from. They just need to understand how to play the game. And it's very simple at the start. You just need to control as much as the area as possible. Either with towers that can do a lot of damage or try to buff certain towers for your friends or random people that you don't know. And you need to do a lot of things that in your power you can do. And you'll usually have an efficient team if you do this. Everyone has to be a part of it. Everyone has to do things together. Otherwise, there's going to be problems. Now, the reason why I address this is that many people in random servers don't get this game. Some people rage quit. Some people go to tower battles because they think they understand it. But really, it's a very simple and fundamental thing. You just don't save for the most expensive things. If you do that, you're going to have many problems. And of course, I get where they're coming from. They want to feel like they're doing a lot of work. It's very easy to triumph every game if you have this kind of tip in mind. Now, not every time, but most of the time this tip works. Other times you may need to have a mega server to even do this. And most of the time you're going to have like two people trying to do a save for like a very expensive tower. And I understand where that comes from. You need to have people doing different things and doing different stuff overall. Some people have to buff, some people have to generate money on their own, like with farms, which by the way got buffed up to 25 at base to 50. It's not a crazy buff, but it does really help for when you start upgrading that farm and helping your teammates later when you max out all your towers. I think overall not many people do this, but if you want to help your friends out if they ever do this kind of thing where they save for the most expensive tower, please assure them that they could help the team and be someone better by at least adding mediocre towers to defeat the first nine or so waves. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you have other tips, please comment down below. I want to know how you triumph all these maps in Tower Defense Simulator. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to make different videos after Tower Defense Battles kind of cools down with all the content. It's just been a lot. You know, every other day there's been new things that are really good. I really like the, the new stuff like the new maps like End of the Line as well as the Cyber City. Overall, I'm going to try to do different games that I haven't really played for a while like Hexaria. Anyways, I'll see you guys later and peace out.